issue with it because we all, the rest of us, did. Um, uh, it, you know, so and they don't know what to, to do with it. Uh, uh, they actually need assistance, and and but uh, also a uh, few found out that 13 percent of of those that aren't uh, internet users in, in this group, uh, uh, this group said they would know enough to go online without any help. So a very small percentage of those that could do it on, on their own. And most of those were probably folks that had engaged with technology in their work life uh, uh, previously. Um, however, we also found interest in, in this, this uh, age group was very low to actually in, engage. Um, uh, and a lot of times it was just about they didn't they didn't know you know they, they don't know what's out there and and uh, uh, there's there's not something that is driving them they don't think things are relevant to them uh, uh, that that are available they think it is their grandkids <laughs> uh, that that engage with the technology and that's for for them um, but uh, as we all know there's there's many other uh, ways that you can engage with with technology. Uh, that can be uh, supportive to to your needs or or uh, helping with uh, 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 communication with family and so forth. Um, in in one of the interesting things that, that we actually saw, and again, uh, I pulled this out of the research because it, it confirmed what we were saying, is that many of the the, the seniors that we work with uh, typically have been using their kids or grandkids or somebody else to send the email or the picture or uh, print something out uh, or do you know go find out some information for them so they, they've been secondary users of the technology they've gone to somebody else to uh, uh, you know to, to actually engage with the technology to uh, answer a question for them or, or otherwise uh, uh, support them um, technology impact on, on seniors one of the things that, that we see is information overload. When uh, a lot of us, when we go to uh, uh, an environment online um, or we have a smartphone, we can easily navigate to where we, we need to go and ignore some of those things that pop up uh, uh, for us. So, uh, for example, if you go to MSN's website, which on a, a lot of new technology devices, that happens to be the default uh, browser option whenever you open your browser. It, it goes right to that's, that's how Microsoft has set it up for you. Um, and, and, but there's so much going on, right? All those pictures and they, you know, there's too much. There's, there's an information overload. So what we've uh, helped to do is, is help them to find and get to uh, uh, and use uh, uh, search engines that kind of I don't, kind of scale that down so that they're they're only seeing uh, you know the information that is relevant to them and not having to deal with or sift through all of all of these non-relevant uh, 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 things that are going on. Um, uh, interaction with other quality of life uh, uh, devices is a uh, uh, interesting as well. I'll, I'll use my dad again as. Uh, uh, as an example, his new hearing aids, he doesn't go to his hearing doctor anymore for them to tweak them. He plugs them into his computer and they do it electronically. Mm -hmm. and, and which was you know a big thing for him because most of the, uh, of the folks in this age group are, are, are social. You know they, they want that human uh, inter interaction. Um, so uh, it, it's 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 different for them. They're not going in and, and, and chatting with the uh, you know with the receptionist at, at the ear doctor or or, or uh, with, with the doctor and and, and uh, it's, it's now you're doing this on your own at your at your computing device and and you need to understand how to respond when things come up. Uh, 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 to the technology as, as well. So um, your hearing aid is squealing like happens to my dad when he doesn't do it, do it right uh, uh, there. So there's a lot of technology that now is, is um, uh, interacting with other uh, quality of life uh, uh, types of, of devices. Um, uh, 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 in, in the healthcare uh, industry there's now um, implants that will um, provide all the vital signs uh, uh, wirelessly to a device at, at home 
and you're not going to the doctor for them to you know pump up the thing and and, and get your your vitals. Uh, uh, this is now as as uh, Brad pointed out, um, uh, health care being delivered not. In, in the hospital, the most expensive way of doing it, but routine uh, types of things like vital signs being done from the home and without you even interacting with it uh, uh, there. Um, uh, the delivery of and access to uh, uh, basic services is, is um, uh, impact. I talked about health care there, but other basic services, paying your water bill or <coughs> or even seeing your, your credit card statement, all those types of things. Um, uh, the, the seniors are now being forced into it in, in many cases where the bank maybe says, hey, if you want to keep your no-cost checking account with us, um, you're going to have our savings account, you're going to have to, to take things electronically. Well, what does that mean? if you don't have the technology uh, uh, there. Uh, and how does that impact our, our aging population? So again, uh, for us, uh, we, we are designing programs around those things to teach people how to engage with their bank or, or uh, uh, any of the, their investment companies that are now sending all their statements uh, electronically and, or trades that are now uh, no longer really done with your broker as this population uh, has been uh, used to, but now you're doing those things yourself online um, there. Uh, safety and, and information security. Um, we're seeing uh, uh, technology becoming so affordable to where more seniors are having uh, uh, video surveillance of, of their homes, whether it's the exterior or the, or the interior or, or family members that are uh, providing um, a service to their, their uh, older loved one that wants to stay at home but needs to have some level of, of observation whether they're taking their, their medication uh, or not. And, and many of you may have seen some of the things that connect right to the internet to tell whether or not the, the uh, uh, medication has been dispensed. Uh, and and uh, then those that have gone even further to connect to the device that is implanted that tells whether or not it's been ingested because the level of the medication rises and it gets recorded. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, life alert, right? I've fallen and I can't get up. Uh, you know that the, that's become more and more sophisticated to where now they're they're selling whether or not someone's moving in the home, uh, whether or not they're in the bed, whether or not the door has opened at, at, you know, at late hours in the evening when it shouldn't have. Um, all, all of that that uh, is uh, occurring around the safety of, of the individual and then information security. Um, I'll use my dad. One more time. <laughs> I keep telling Dad. I know that pop-up says <laughs> you have a virus. <laughs> Click here to uh, to address it. And every time you do, it messes up your computer, right? Uh, so you know, teaching you know, programming to teach uh, uh, folks what is really a legitimate alert like that, or the email that comes around and says you've won one billion pesos. And all you've got to do is send us uh, all sorts of information and, and we'll send that to you. Uh, and how to discern that that's you know, not a, a legitimate uh, 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 claim and you're not, you shouldn't even open it and, and so forth. Um, to, you know, protecting that, that information. It, it's a very trusting population today. It's a very trusting population and, and uh, uh, they, they tend to open every one of those junk mail pieces that they get, uh, you know, just to see what, what it says as opposed to what I do, you know, I recycle, uh, you know, those. Um, so, but, uh, you know, not responding uh, to those, those types of things, uh, whether it's physical or, or, or technology. Healthcare, uh, again, is, is a major area that we're seeing uh, a technology have an impact on, on seniors. I don't know if any of you uh, have been recently to a doctor's office and they roll in the laptop and both that, that initial uh, 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 staff member that's taking all of your, your information and type, 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 type. Um, and then the doctor comes in and sits down <laughs> at, at that computer now too. 
and is looking at information, looking at, uh, you know, and maybe never even really talking to you, but talking to uh, the computer and looking at, at, at things. And then, if, uh, you know, if they want you to take more tests, they schedule it right there in, in, in front of you. Or if they're going to do a prescription, they say, where do you want to pick it up at? And for uh, folks that, that uh, are, are older, it's hard for them to, to engage in this when they're used to the, the, you know, the years that they've been programmed to follow a certain process. And, and many of them then, when they want, you know, the, the, the staff want to schedule that follow-up and they want to do it right there, well, they don't have a calendar with them. They, they don't have their smartphone where they pull up their calendar and say, oh, yeah, next Tuesday is fine. And, and so now they're, well, I'll have to get back to you. Well, now that causes delays and potentially uh, uh, service, and they get frustrated when, when they're, they're trying to call back in and can't get a hold of the human. Uh, it, so from, from a healthcare perspective, again, helping seniors to learn how to embrace that, that technology and how to adapt uh, uh, to it, whether it's the basic things like a doctor's visit and giving out in, in information, um, uh, it's, or whether it's medical devices in home and how to uh, uh, get those set up and, and uh, make sure they're functioning properly and, and, and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> social impact on, on seniors. Uh, again, as, as we uh, engage with seniors and, and help them to em embrace and use more technology, um, we see a, a, a social impact in the way that they're connecting with family and friends. Um, going to the coffee shop. Uh, I'll keep it in the family. My my father-in-law, every morning at six o'clock, he's down at the, the the coffee shop with all of his friends. But now they're all doing this at the coffee table. They've all got to, and less of the the the, the talking uh, amongst themselves and more. Oh, did you see the picture of my grandson on his trip to Cambodia? Uh, it, and they're, they're sharing uh, information 